Building a deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! is fun. It's also pretty hard if you don't know what you're doing. Yu-Gi-Oh! is complicated. The best and easiest thing you can do is to look up a deck list online, buy those cards from certain retailers, and have a deck that is ready-made to go. But what if we made it even harder? We're gonna build our deck solely by using Konami sealed product. That's starter decks, booster packs, and trading with other duels. This should waste plenty of both time and money, but make our deck unique to us and hopefully make us a little bit better at the game while we're doing it. Welcome, duelists, to Pay to Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Real quick, before we begin this week, we are going to be doing a giveaway of these cards. These were given to me as one of my eBay purchase, like extra purchase bonuses. I'm not going to go over every card in this pack, but if you do want to enter, click on the Google Form link in the description below. Fill out your information so I can best contact you via email. Then come back to the comments section and let me know what card you want most from Age of Overlord. Which card is your favorite? Whoever wins will get mailed these for free. It'll be standard mailing, no tracking, anything like that. But I will send it out to you and I'll contact you. You've got one week to go ahead and enter before I randomly draw a name. So good luck to you. Hope you get exactly what you want. So far in this series, we've done a really good job at elevating the core structure deck of Fire Kings, but right now we have two pounds ahead of us. We need to figure out which way we want to take this deck in terms of an upgrade path. We can go either the Snake Eye Fire King route that I really predict is going to dominate the meta, or we can do the Dogmatica Tri Brigade route. We already have some of the Dogmatica cards, and unfortunately, Age of Overlord and all the ensuing Snake Eye cards we need are getting harder and harder to find. We just can't supply what we need to do to move forward. So today, we're going to open up some Age of Overlord, see if we can build up our deck, and then we're probably going to abandon the Snake Eye engine for a little bit as we look to upgrade our Fire King into more of a Tri-Brigade route, because Tri-Brigade cards are much more easily accessible right now. One thing that is very important to note is that this episode is filmed way in advance and it's before any potential upcoming ban list. I know people have really been speculating that the Snake Eyes cards or the Fire King cards could get hit on an upcoming ban list. If that happens, that will take place after the events of this episode, just to clarify. So for whatever reason, my phone stopped recording, but we were able to do one opening uh, before camera. We didn't get anything, but I'll go ahead and show the results now. Um, what Kingdom returned, Culinary Confrontation, Sweet Roommate, Switchpoint was our Hollow, Miracle of the Supreme King, Lather Ramp, Shino Baron Shade Peacock, and Starry Knight. Um, we're going for any of the Sinful Spoil stuff. Um, that's going to have the most trade bait. Anything Horus we get would also be really helpful. Um, Sinful Spoils uh, we're not going to probably trade, we're probably going to use, but we also could just use trade bait because we're out here. So, um,. All right, Asset Mountis, Watuna, Transcendaceris. We do have a spell, but I think it's in the wrong spot. Um, Watyuki and Burning Dragon is our super. We, um, I don't love this, but it is technically an option. I think our deck's a little too built out at this point for us to be considering it, but I mean, it does work well with the deck. Um, Immortal Bushy Mar mourns the mortal body. Fallen of the Decina, can't do much there. Again, the Diamond Tiger, our deck wouldn't really do much with this, but that is an interesting tech because these are um, a super interesting card choice. I don't think there's anything our deck could do with them though. Gaia Prominence, the Fierce Force. So nothing crazy there. Keep on moving right along. This is the halfway point. We're just hoping, please, 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 if you're gonna give us supers, give us Snake Eye Ash, give us Snake Eye Birch, any of the Sinful Spoils. Um, stuff there. Earthbound Servant. Sinful Spoils. Okay, this is actually um, something we can use. Um, I don't know if this is one we're going to play, but we definitely can use it, so we'll take this. Uh, this is Resilia. Um, definitely a good pull. Pit Knight Philly again, and then Divine Temple of the Snake Eye um, as our Ultra. I don't know if we'll ever run this, but Sinful Spoil stuff is an ultra. Obviously, what the price is on TCG Player to see if it's a good trade bait if we can't make use of it. But that is that is great. This is a great Sinful Spoils pack. I will take that in a heartbeat. TG Close, Shino Barris, Alpha Summon, and Origami Goddess. So pretty good so far. Not expecting much. We did get an ultra. 
um, some of the stuff. Uh, hopefully we can just get some of the sinful spoil supers. That would be, I think, the most helpful overall. But uh, this is a pretty good opening so far. So not too shabby. This set is impossible to find. So this is probably going to be the only um, like packs we can really open of this stuff. But uh, we shall see. Stars align above the Shrine, Pendulum Evolution, Master Tao, the Chanter, Escape Goat, and we've got a Hoppy Guidance of Horus. I think this is the Horus card that's worth the absolute least because there's only a super. Angelic Ring, Great Card, Vanquished Soul, Gaia Prominence, and Loka Samsara. All right, two more packs left to go. Hopefully we can get something good. I'm not expecting a secret rare out of six packs, but would gladly take a secret rare um, out of six packs. So we shall see. Soul of the Supreme Celestial King, Lila Rap. Well, okay, we <laughs> accidentally skipped to it. Uh, Veda Kala Canum. I don't think anyone's running that in Medium. Uh, Miracle, Tarai, Sweet Room Maid, Agdotic Daybreak, TG Close, and Xyz and Trust. I don't think anyone's running this. Um, it is a cool card just because it is Pendulum at such a high level with 4,000 defense is really cool. But all right, last pack. Let's see how we do overall. Here is definitely hoping for a secret rare or a QCR. A lot of the QCRs here are good. And let's go ahead and get it open. So starting out with the Resilia, that is something we can use. So I will set that to the side. Kin, um, another thing I mean, might be able to do something with. Uh, Earthbound Servant, Geo Grimlina. Play of the Testina, and here it is, our last hollow. It is a trap. It is Canopic Protector. Um, I think it looks like it's Horus support. Um, IAS, inv Invasive Alien Species. Alpha Summon, Pelinary Confrontation, and Sharv Sarga. So, all in all, not the best. I mean, we did get two copies of Resilia, which could work, I guess, with our copy of... Uh, what's her face? Um, and Divine Temple of the Snake Eye. That's pretty good. Got some super rares here. We might be able to build a trade off and can again. So not the crazy, but uh, not the worst, I guess. So let's go ahead and hop into some deck building. Nothing too crazy, unfortunately, that's going to help us build this deck. I really think the future of this deck is going to be Tri-Brigade, at least until way later in September. If Age of Overlord gets reprinted in the Mega Tens, that might be something we can look into. But for now, I really think we're going to stick to Tri-Brigade. So let's go ahead and check out the current deck build. You're going to notice it's going to look very similar to last week, and that's unfortunate. We did, however, get a little bit lucky and have a a little bit of extra spice added to the deck. Okay, so our deck build this week is nothing really special. We are running our standard engine. We're doing three copies of Ponix, three copies of Kirin, two copies of Garunix, two copies of Arvada, and one copy of Barong as our Fire King monster main engine. We're also, of course, running two copies of Island, two copies of Circle, three copies of Fire King Sanctuary, and one copy of Skybird. And that's our entire Fire King package that we're currently running. That's it. So it does take up a big chunk of our deck. We can slim down ratios easily as we have more and more to go into. But right now, without any other engines really to use and rely on, this ratio is kind of fine, honestly. Next up, we have our starter, our, our other starters. We have a copy of Snake Eye Ash. Ash gets us into Ponix, and then we can do some stuff from there. We can obviously link off um, Ash if we need to, and usually we Ash is really good if we have that plus an additional card in hand to be able to do some of our Fire King plays. We also have three copies of Pot of Prosperity. We do have some cards we can dump off of Prosperity that we don't really need in the extra deck, so that's really helpful. Now, in terms of our extensions, we have one copy of EMP Meow Mine. This is really good to go into off of our link plays. We next have our one copy of Maximus and three copies of Dear Servant, which gets us a Garura engraved to get a free draw. Maximus is a free summon, plus we can dump more stuff to kind of take care of the opponent's board a little bit. It does lock us out of the extra deck, which I keep forgetting, but can really mess us up. Next, we have Dark Hole Dragon with two copies of Dark Hole. This is just a really good interruption and a board breaker. I like it quite a lot. Finally, we have the cards that we use to deal with our opponent or to react to hand traps. We have three copies of Droll and Lockbird. We have three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Three copies of Infinite Impermanence. 
And finally, we have one copy of Talent and one copy of Called By. So this is a really good answer to a lot of the hand traps. It is a hand trap heavy format. So Called By is really good. Tactics is really good. We can rip a card from our opponent's hand or we can just use it to draw, which is what typically most people do. We, can't, we do have three copies of Impermanence, Ash, and Droll, I think is the best hand trap in the game. So all in all, pretty good deck for the main deck. Let's go ahead and go into our extra deck. So our extra deck is gonna remain mostly the same. We have two copies of Grunix Eternity. We have one copy of Promethean Princess, one copy of SP Lil Knight, one copy of IP Mascarena. We do have a copy of Heat of the Fire Charmer or Blaze. I would love to use this in case we get Ashed. I think it's just a really fun tech we can put in there. One copy of Unicorn, one copy of Selene, one copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax, and Deco Talker Heat Soul. These four are really gonna dump off of Prosperity since we will almost never end up bringing these out. It actually makes it very easy. In that same vein, we also have Time Thief Redoer and Dengirsu. We can go into these if we need to, but most of the time we will not. So they are good cards, but for the most part, we'll be dumping them off of Prosperity. We also have Aggregator and Intus, which is what will dump off of the effect of Maximus. This allows us to destroy an opponent's card. This one allows us to negate the effect of an Xyz monster if it's on the field. And finally, we have a copy of Garura, which gives us a free draw. So all in all, pretty standard, at least for us, extra deck. A lot of it we can't end up going into. Deco Talker Heat Soul is especially difficult to get into. We have to get into it off of IP Mask Arena and EMP Meow Mine, which is, an un which is kind of unfortunate. Finally, we have our side decks. We are running our two copies of evenly matched, one copy of Lightning Storm, two copies of Droplet. I have not been using it that much. Um, we'll see if it comes up, but uh, honestly, I'm rarely if ever siding into Droplet. Um, one copy of Sphere Mode, one copy of Nib, and three copies of our Flame Kaiju Doggeran. This is just our non-targeting removal that we have, our non-destruction removal. Um, we also have our Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. This is our big back row destruction card. And finally, we have three copies of Ice Dragon's Prison and one copy of Onslaught of the Fire King. So pretty simple extra deck, um, not doing a ton. It does help with some of the gaps that our main deck does, um, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Reviewing our current deck setup, what we're really stuck in is a point where the deck is fine. I think the issue right now is that we're using effectively the same deck every single week. Yes, we have fantastic upgrades. Recently, of course, picking up SP Little Knight is huge for the deck. Non-destruction removal is gigantic. We've got a great side deck built out for the deck. The problem is the deck core engine is very limited. People can counter the Fire King engine without a supplementary engine to give it a little more gas, a couple legs added onto it. Right now, that's all we've got. Our bread and butter is exclusively our main tactic. So moving forward, we're just kind of stuck. We do luckily have a copy of Promethean Princess. That is really going to add a lot of spice, a lot of flavor to our deck. Reviving is another interruption destruction if we can get into it. But just having three bodies on board and being able to link summon is a huge ask for us. For thus, you're looking to turn three or four to be able to get that done. And without any interruptions, our opponent stopping us in addition. So, it really becomes a difficulty. I think our best play is going to be using EMP Meow Mine and SP Little Knight or IP Mascarena, linking into IP or SP, throwing down Meow Mine, linking those two into Deco Talker Heat Soul, and then using Deco Talker Heat Soul to get us a draw that might help us extend, get into Promethean Princess, and go from there. I think that's going to be a combo that will come up. We shall see. Let's go ahead and hop into the duels of this week. So, going in, match one was against Sword Soul, and unfortunately, we, we took a, a massive L. It was 0-2 uh, us. It was actually two very fantastic games. No, no blowouts, anything like that. We actually went into time in the final game. Great, great games overall. Round two, however, was a bye. Going into the bye, we're actually at a 1-1-0 record overall, which is not terrible. We're not going to top necessarily, but if we can get top six, that's additional prize packs for us that we might be able to get something out of. Round three, we're going up against Trap Tricks, and I'm actually kind of scared going into this round. We don't have great back row removal. Currently, our main deck, we have really one option, and that's using the graveyard effect of Kirin. 
If we're looking into siding options, we can do things like end of battle phase evenly matched. We have Lightning Storm, and we can use the effect of Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys if we really need to. But going into at least round one, we're a little screwed. So we do run the die roll into round one, and we do actually take the dub. We're able to kind of stop him before he's able to really set anything up, go through our regular combo, and take the win there. Round two, we're on a back foot, but unfortunately he doesn't open up enough to stomp us. We easily get that 2-0 very quickly and take the dub. We are now at a 2-1-0 record going into the final round, round four. And things are looking good. Round four, we're going up against Brandon, and it is our feature match of the evening. Go ahead and take a look. Stand by me. Holy crap. All right. Fusion deployment. Uh, sure. Uh, effect, fuse, sure. Sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to say Garuda. Okay. So, so that allowed allow me to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Effect. Yeah. Yes. And then on res, I will drop a droll. Oh, it places face oh, up. Okay. My bad. I was thinking a mag. Attempt to activate effect. Uh, sure. It is a dumb way to get around. Um, but it, you are it is a dumb way to get around. So, oh, oh, wait, I can't even do that. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. What else was I going to do? I think I was going to play. I forgot. Yeah. Well, I guess there are traps. So it's kind of. Well, no, it's actually fine. Okay. It's set to impact. Oh, well, in phase, uh. Cartesian come back in, sure. and then y'all pass. Alright, drop turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, uh, stand by main. Alright, um, let's go ahead and set three. Yeah. Activate the deer circle. Oh. Uh, right. <laughs> going to send. Garuba? In the play? Yeah. Um, and I will add. It's a Maximus? Yep. Yeah. And then. Garuba yeah. effect. Alright. That's an inboard if I've ever seen one. Uh, yeah, I've never, I've never done that before. I go. Yeah. Draw. Uh, Effective Maximus uh, by banishing Guru. Oh, Alright. Normal summon Ash. So you're at 7, I'm at 8. Awesome. Ash effect? Uh, let's tip search. Yeah. And then Hops. you're going to banish top card of your deck after I'm done searching, but I'm going to get a fountain. Sanctuary? Then Sanctuary effect? Yeah. Island? Mm -hmm. Island effect. Does it destroy for cost? Uh, it... No. Well, I will chain Cosmo Cyclone, targeting your island. I have okay. not seen I'll her. activate the effect one. of yeah. Sanctuary. I've had, had a little bit of a break since. Um, so this says destroy, right? It banishes. Oh, that banishes. Okay. Um, yeah, I believe it, cool. what it is yeah. only... Destroy? Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Um, it's very convenient. Okay, yeah, normally, uh, I think it resolves to uh, destroy your muscles. <laughs> Does it? Because I don't think it left the field. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's check. I don't know, I just... Now, destroying monsters on the field, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, it says if it's sent to the graveyard or banished, destroy all monsters you control. Uh, Alright, let's go destroy these guys. Alright, so that will trigger the effect of Ponix in hand. Yeah. Um, it gains me a thousand life points in the end. Ponix effect? Onslaught? Yeah. Uh, what does that do? Is it... um, if only you control a monster, I can special a fire beast, beast yeah, warrior, wing beast right. from my deck, but its effects are negated Ooh. and it's destroyed during the Targets. end phase. Targets? Okay. Um, um, activate like Skyler. Uh, is it, what does that do? Uh, Targets, Targets, and then it will destroy them. Well, let's go Super Poly on my guy. Okay. This card card too. Okay. I'm gonna summon Dragus to play. Okay. And Fox. Secret for six. Yes. Activate Prosperity for six. Barkeon. Uh, it is a once per turn. But that, that's not what you need to worry about. Uh, we're going to activate Blessing Special. One. From Grave. Two. Three. Back Camellia. Four. Five. Five. Six. Hmm. Add uh, you. Activate uh, Onslaught. Uh, Cure. Uh, move to end phase. Oh, yeah, but, um, onslaught effect will destroy Kieran. Uh, okay. Chain link one Garunix. Chain link two Kieran. Kieran will special summon out a Fire King monster from my grave and destroy one card in the field. 
target. I'm going to destroy uh, Dragus to Pelia. Uh, um, uh, I think Brunix will resolve, I guess, down. next. Yeah. Brunix will special summon chain itself. Chain one beast. will be this. Yeah. Then chain uh, two. To chain two. Oh. I'm going to go <laughs> Alibur, mm -hmm. targeting your uh, Garunix, and then I'll go chain three, and then Grand Genol. Because you yeah. special summon a monster if I activate a monster effect, I can it's your banish it yep. and special oh, it's summon a Dogmatica or a Destiny monster for my deck or action. So I will chain four Ash, and then Alibur, what does it do? It, it, it summons yep. itself and then it gates its effects. Okay. Perfect. That is it. Let me shuffle. Well, hold on. I gotta do my Cartesia effect because a fusion monster was sent to the graveyard this turn. I can add to my hand. Sure. Draw for turn. Sure. Go stand by main man. Sure. Mm -hmm. Fool's burial. Okay. Tragedy. Tragedy effect. Yeah. Normal summon Alibur. Okay. Effect. Okay. I will activate another super poly. Okay. Those two to make my dragon. Sure. Yeah. All right. I don't think it's gonna matter, but I'll change this attribute to dark. Okay. <laughs> Brand diffusion. Yep. I'll be on. Um, I'll be on effect. Uh, yeah. Tribute this to summon Lubellion. Okay. okay, and I'll switch this to attack position. Mm -hmm. And, and I'll we'll, oh, okay. first activate yeah. Lubellion. Oh, effect. sure, gotta, go for it. Gotta, you know, hey, absolutely. What is that? Play it right. Yeah. Uh, chain fountain. All right. Resolution. Battle phase. Yep. Three K. Yeah. You're good. Twenty-five. Chain two. Yeah. Chain two uh, Nineteen, and I don't know if this Starts. is lethal, but I know both of these are. Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, GG. Let's go to game two. Um, stand by. Activate your server. Maximus. For reflecting grave. Max effect. Draw phase. I'm gonna activate. Fun sword you will need. I will Ash Blossom. Phonics will add to him. And Barong will search a fire king. Alright, main phase. Alright, draw for turn. Draw phase. I'm gonna activate. Fun sword you will need. I will Ash Blossom. Phonics will add to him. And Barong will search a fire king. Alright, main phase. Fusion deployment. Health <laughs> chain oh. here. Reveal. Okay, I'm 1 1 1. Mirror J. Oh, bad. Yeah, 6. Okay. And I'll activate his effect. And I'll take off by. I won match 1, lost three. match 2, won mm -hmm. match 3. Because if you get rid of it. Yeah. Might be oh, eight. No, not. Might be eight. Might be eight. Okay. I'll fuse with your Kieran. Okay. And uh, make I'll call the play. Okay. Alright. Anything here? Uh, no, you're good. Alright. Since Albaz is in the graveyard, I'll uh, special summon your team. Okay. Uh, yep. Activate effect if you draw. Sure. Draw. Draw. Alright. Grand you know effect. Uh, chain. <laughs> Uh, the one grain, you know, will chain two sides. Yeah, no, you're good. Retribution. I'll draw. This will send. I don't need to. Resolution, I'll activate Albion's effect. Okay. Send for cost. This. So shuffle them and put it in I'm assuming that's a one of them. Or I'll go back. All right. Maybe. Our resolution, I'll activate. And that goes until you banish it and target Brand Diffusion to add the hand. I'll activate Brand Diffusion. The card I got today. I'll be on effect. I'll be on effect to banish. Uh, yeah, the brain is here. Uh, I think you just got me now. Alright. Deploying it? Yeah. This is what I could have done. I should have started with this so that I could have done it. Alright, so no, it doesn't matter. Battle phase? Yeah. Okay. Alright. I will. I will like play gold drop. Activate Mirror Jade's effect. Opponent draws card. Sin. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. So they banish a monster. They banish top four. Uh, then I'll then go 3k. Yep. 25? Yep. 25. Good game. Good game. I'm not going to lie. That was a brutal loss for us. Despite how Fire King Snake Eyes plays against Branded, we're actually having a little bit of issue with just playing straight Fire King against Branded with all the support they have. We have no answer to Super Poly. They're able to take a lot of our cards, banish things with using Mirror Jade. I mean, we really struggle against that matchup. It's not impossible. We're able to do some things that our deck does have legs underneath it, but with the current setup, there's not a ton we can do to really stop them once they get going because destroying their cards, putting them in the graveyard doesn't stop a lot of their fusion summoning. If we can ash the branded fusion, if we can stop the Luber, we're doing pretty well.
Otherwise, we're going to be kind of sitting ducks against their board, and they're just going to be able to continue to get to play, even on our turn, which is not the best. But we don't end on a dour note, because that ultimate Fenrir, we're actually able to trade to Cooper for an ultimate Kurikara and three packs of Phantom Nightmare. Let's go ahead and pop into those real quick. I think all said and done, we really need to start taking our deck in the Tri Brigade route. I'm really not convinced that the ban list isn't going to destroy or at least hamper Snake Eyes, Fire King, and I really don't want to invest heavily in that engine. Tri Brigade, even if we take some L's in terms of not being able to get what we need, at least Tri Brigade will be a functional engine even if Fire King takes just a massive hit. So very interested to go down that route, I think, over the Snake Eyes engine and trying to trade up into things. It's just going to be a little bit too dangerous and too much of a gamble. I also don't want to explore Maze of Memories that much because that set is remarkably top heavy. And if we pull a bunch of things like the Flame Swordsman support, we can't use it, we can't trade it, we're stuck with just a bunch of dead cardboard in our hands. That said, final reminder, make sure you do fill out that Google Drive link if you want a chance at winning a couple of these cards. I think there's like four or six in total. I don't know. If you want a chance to win these, please let me know. No. Also, if you enjoyed it so much, please give this video a like and consider subscribing and joining the channel. We will be taking this deck a full calendar year of using exclusively this deck in our locals. Remember, our goals are to top locals and then get to a regional or YCS event and top that too. That is what we're going to be doing here on the channel. We will do it by January, by hook or by crook, even if it kills me. So make sure you stick around for that. Look forward to and cannot wait to bring you on this journey with us. Thank you so much. And like we always say here on the channel, I hope to see you around sometime.